Hey friends, today I need to change my lawnmower blades. These things get dull in a year or two and they need to be changed or sharpened periodically. So I'm going to show you how to do it. So let's dig in. I've got a Troy built pony 42 inch riding lawnmower. So my instructions are specific to this model. However, the process for changing blades is similar for any mower, even a push mower. As a general rule, mower blades should be changed every one to two years. It's safer and will cause less wear and tear on your engine. And it gives a nicer looking lawn after it's been mowed. Some signs your mower blade is getting dull and needs to be changed or sharpened are the blade looks dull or has nicks or gouges in it, or if your blade is bent. Other signs may be that your grass looks uneven after it is cut, or there are a lot of stray grass blades sticking up after you've cut the lawn, or the grass blades look torn instead of cut, or there may be brown frayed edges on your lawn. To save money, you can sharpen your blades rather than changing them, if they're not too badly gouged or bent or nicked. Just remove the blades and sharpen them with a file or an angle grinder. Now, you don't have to sharpen them as sharp as a razor, like a knife. It's not necessary for lawnmower blades. Just reshape the edge profile on the blade and you should still be able to touch the blade without cutting your hand. If the blades are in really bad shape or if you've already sharpened them a couple of times before, it's best to go ahead and to replace them. Don't worry about the old blades having to go to waste. You can still turn them into something cool like a machete to use for cutting limbs around your yard. I'll leave a link to a video about how to do it in the description. I take a lot of my lawnmower blades and turn them into cool machetes and give them away. So to remove the blades on a riding lawnmower, it's often easiest to first remove the mower deck from under the mower. You could raise up the mower and do all the work on the ground without taking the mower deck off, or you could sharpen the blades while it's still attached, but it's really awkward and it's uncomfortable. It's best to just remove the deck if you're changing the blades. And if you're doing it on a push mower, you can leave them on and just tilt the mower up on its side to get access to the blades. But be mindful that when you do that, gas or oil might leak out of the engine. So to remove the mower deck on a mower like mine, first lower the mowing deck all the way down to the ground. Take off the front belt keeper, use a half inch socket on the self-tapping screw. The other end of the belt keeper sticks into the frame on the right side of the mower in the frame. On the rear of the deck, take off the bow tie pins on either side of the deck to release the mower deck from the support rods and lift arms. And then knock out the support rod from the lift arm. Here's a trick, reinsert the support rods back into the lift arms and raise the lift lever back up to get the lift arms out of the way so that you can pull the mower deck out when we get to that point. Take out the bow tie pins that hold the deck lift rod on the front of the mower deck and slide the deck lift rod out of the bracket. Take out the pins holding on the PTO cable on the back of the mower deck and remove the PTO cable by pulling it back and to the left off of the mounting bracket. Next, remove the PTO spring from the deck by lifting it up at 45 degrees and then pushing it down to take it out. 
Now drag your deck out from under the lawnmower and you're ready to get to the blades. Now that the mower deck is free from the riding mower, it will be much easier to get to the mower blades. Turn the mower deck over so that you can easily reach the blades. Now attach a C-clamp to the outer wall of the mower deck so that it stops the blades from spinning when you turn the nut that holds on the blade. Make a note about which way the cutting edge of your blades is facing. You can take a picture if you want to, it was an easy way to do it. You'll want to be sure to install your new blades facing the same direction as the old ones were. Use a 15 16 inch socket or wrench to turn the nut counterclockwise to remove the nut from the blade. Sometimes the nuts can be hard to remove, especially if they've not been moved in a while. I had to use PB Blaster penetrating oil to help loosen the nut on mine. I also used an impact driver to help release mine, but you could also use a breaker bar or a wrench with a really long handle. The main reason I used an impact wrench is to avoid stripping the nut on my blades. Once the nut and blade are removed, attach the new blade and be sure to install the new one the same way as the old one. Make sure they're facing the same way. Remove the C-clamp from the mower deck and now it's time to reattach the mower deck back onto the mower. Reverse the steps we used before to take it off. Slide the mower deck back into place under the mower reattach the PTO spring and pop the PTO cable back into its bracket and reattach the clip holding the PTO cable in place. Put the front deck lift rod lever into the mounting bracket and attach the bow tie clip. Lower the deck lever all the way back down and attach the rear support rods and deck lifting arms back to the rear of the mower deck as before and secure them with bow tie clips. Do this on both sides. Now route the mower belt back onto the front pulley and right below the engine and then reattach the belt keeper around the pulley and you are done. Remember that the belt keeper goes into pole on the right side of the pulley and then the screw self taps into the hole on the left side of the mower's frame. In Ecclesiastes chapter 10 verse 10 it says, using a dull axe requires great strength so sharpen the blade. That's the value of wisdom. It helps you to succeed. When your mower blades are dull the mower doesn't work well and it wears on your engine. Sharpening them makes the mowing go and be more effective. You also need to take time to sharpen yourself once in a while. Be sure to get enough rest. You'll think clearer, make better decisions, and be more effective. Take a vacation every now and then. You'll come back restored and rested and motivated and better equipped to work. And sometimes, you need to take time off to learn new skills. Take a break from what you're working on day to day and take time or make time to learn a new skill. Don't worry about losing productivity. You'll come back sharper and more effective. A dull ax doesn't cut well. Neither does a dull lawnmower blade. And neither do you when you're dull and tired and you don't have the right skills for the job you're trying to do. So listen to God's word and take time to sharpen yourself and you will be ready to succeed. And then get out there and grow and be fruitful.